guys. Yeah. <laughs> Be concerned. All right, hi guys, and welcome to Straight No Chaser. <laughs> I can't with that. I can't. With that. I can't with the moves. We are not doing it. We are We're not, not doing it. All. Doing We're the not moves. doing it. The podcast where we speak about anything and any everything in the same way we do in our group chat with no filter whatsoever. And today we have B, Rohan, Yans, and this is Giselle, and we are at a True Blue Bay Resort in True Blue. Grenada in the Saint West. George's. Saint George's, sorry, in the Paris of Saint George. <laughs> Grenada, West Indies, and we're on a day pass. Haven't we had a good time? We're litty titty. We yeah. are litty titty. We literally <laughs> can't start with a shot. We cannot, we're already there. Yeah. We legit we're already can't there. Do it. We cannot do it. We can't do it all because we've had enough for the day, and we are only now starting to you know record our content. So. Welcome to our day pass. This is about self care. Yes. And personal dating, and you know, just yeah. dating yourself, dating your friends, dating your friends, dating not your parents. Outside of romantic, romantic stuff, yeah. 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 Non romantic dating. Yeah. Just like keeping relationships alive. Yep. So yep. all of them, yep. yeah, yep. with yep. dating. However, we do want to big up True Blue Bay Resort as our first title sponsor. Big up you! Yay. No, but also big up us for Guns for Association. Oh, we're yes. influencers. We're influencers <laughs> now. So a little bit about True Blue Bay Resort and their day passes. You get access to the resort from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You get four royal pools. You have four pools that you can just go to and just chum boom. <laughs> you, you get access to the gym and yoga studio guided table cat course they know the whole the the thing what you call those things water, water sports, sports. Mm-hmm. right you have meals at the jack restaurant from the buffet breakfast which is my favorite thing and that is fr- that's up until 10 30 on the weekdays or 11 on the weekends and you get a three course meal from 12 to 4 that's the time that you'll be able to get it. Cocktails, unlimited house cocktails, drinks at the dot at Dodgy Dog and the Rum Shop Bar. Big up Check Akim Nick. and Nick. Check at Nick. Rum Shop Bar. Big up ask for Akim, ask for Nick, and they will set you up so nicely. Tell them straight from straight just sent you. The, the pina colada what a, what a was whisper. good. <laughs> Listen, and the prosecco is always flowing. Once they know it's from us, they know the prosecco, like you prosecco will prosecco. flow. So guys, come on down. It is two ninety nine. Just bring yourself down, bring everybody down, and it's going to be a wonderful day for you. We've done this numerous times. Yeah, so like, much so the pandemic. Just know, yeah. It's also an excellent place to remote work if you are a remote worker. Yes. yes. I come down on a day when I need to be somewhere different. I just mm-hmm. haul my ass down with my lappy. <laughs> the internet is good. And by the Mexican and stay I can work from the pool. I can work from the bar. Mm-hmm. It's anyway, a vibe. It is Mexican actually corn, really the Mexican wings. corn. Yeah. You had the lemon pepper wings? wings? Yeah, lemon pepper wings were uh, so good. The regular fried wings was like pretty, pretty I love the wings, uh, but I have to have the Mexican corn. Each time. We have like we bite every, every time, time we come here. here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like corn that much and I will take a bite every time they get it because it's good. It oh, is yeah. good. very good. So come try it. No, but let me tell you about the breakfast again. Yes. Get it. Even if you're not on a day pass. I'm known to True Blue Bay for their breakfast. Yeah. It is worth the What is like your item. favorite item on them? Because I feel like you love their breakfast overall. Yeah. They have like, a wicked roast bakes, I will say. They have yes. a very good local the bake. The Johnny Bake? Yeah. Not made by a local. Yeah. But her taste. Yes. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, but, but it's really good the roast bakes here. Yeah, um I don't usually do like the the carbs like that here. I love the breakfast potatoes usually, but the bacon. Oh my god. The omelet. The obsession with bacon is bacon so wild omelet. to me. Bacon and omelet. <laughs> Same. The man. bacon and the like, omelet. Like bacon is cool. It smells great when you're like walking Shut past up. it. You know see a bitch don't move in their head and they just move in their eye, you know they're lying. But anyway, the bacon and the omelet for me, Giselle Carrington of the Christ Jesus. That's great. He did it's the omelet it. station for me. Yeah, yeah. it's the omelet every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. The omelet's always really yummy. Yep. The hospitality, all that. Yep, 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 yep. However, we are here to speak about just 
why we take the day passes in the first place we take the day passes because we want to come we want to unwind we want to just do different from our regular day-to-day -day stuff self-care sometimes we bring ourselves to like come to their what's that night street food night on a wednesday yeah. just to kick back from whatever yeah. monday i'm stuff. struggling what is yeah. happening babe? i'm struggling i'm just putting my, my leg <laughs> a little struggle and you really I mean? we don't need to have an occasion because we've done for example their spa special yeah, yeah. just because we just needed, in the middle of the we work just needed week some girl time you yeah. know just we just needed a two hours to just step back from all the bullshit and just just on why like i love i love yeah. coming to this spa. like there wasn't a day that didn't see me for a particular time i used to come in all the time and just do my toes just like my nails i'll come another day and do a wax i'll come another day and do uh, a massage we they used to be to like rohan is that you like they'll hear my voice and be like rohan is that you we used wow. to do that massage special. We used to come. Mm -hmm. We used to get a, a body scrub, a full body scrub, yes. a massage, and a pedicure. Yes. That was the flex. Just randomly during the week, we just needed some girl time. Yeah. We just need some time, and that's yeah. the important part. You just Book need to, like, to the spa. Take yourself on a little date to try yeah. and recuperate from whatever the fuck was harassing you in the first place. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you get like that like level of moody, you don't know yeah. where it came from. Yeah, like, you're just boy. moody? Yeah. I feel like sometimes you just need a little alone time. You take or some phone time for a with your bit. girls. Like, yeah. really, some one on one time with your, with your sis. So I just want to be alone. Love y'all, but I need yeah, my alone I time. Yeah, I agree. Boy, though, there's times where I'm just like, I want to be alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I was like, I love y'all. Or but, like, even if anybody comes over. Don't call me. I was like, even if y'all come over, I'm going to be in my room. I'm yeah. My thing, and I'll see you when I see you. Come yeah, through. I will never say no to nice. anybody. That's I where I live. Time. I live at the, I don't mind spending the time alone thing. If I need it, y'all ain't go here for me until the next event yeah. and then i'll jump back in like nothing ever happened i'll be dis i will disappear oh magician yeah. style because most of the times i'm it. on the opposite side of the spectrum yeah i feel like you like need the need physical the contact, contact yeah. like you need because like, i i work remote mm -hmm. and i work from home yeah and i live alone so that's a lot of alone time usually during the week the whole week would pass and i have not f touched another human or spoken to another human IRL. Yeah. Like I have not had any real life contact at in no way. I have yeah. not had a conversation with another person. I have not touched another person. Nothing. So when the weekend comes, a lot of times I'm just craving human interaction. Or sometimes the weekend comes and I don't even leave my house and I realize yeah. like ten days have passed and I have not been touched. Yeah. And nope. that shit, like, not even, not it's even, like, like, eighty-three hairs. Not so even in like a platonic way. Like, I have not even hugged anybody. Like, oh, yeah. Sometimes it, it not even shook. And you know that's crazy because like Nothing. you're on that spectrum. When I went back to school and I um was at Rice, so my my first two semesters, I think, I I wasn't in classes with. I was doing like courses that just i needed to fill in mm -hmm. but i wasn't doing my main courses at the time because like i had um i had like a lot of them in the bag already so i was just like going to these other classes and i didn't make friends with anyone like it's hard for me to make friends in general but like i didn't make friends with anyone i don't speak in class mm -hmm. and like i live by myself so the only person i probably would like break a word to was this lovely like guyanese security man that lived like that um worked at the building and like that was the only conversation i was like Hmm, this is nice. My friends would call me and I would just be like half naked on the phone, not talking, and they just they. I'm like, yeah. I sometimes I'm not even. No, I was like, I yeah. like being alone. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Like sometimes in a week, I probably maybe I might talk to the person that I speak to consistently. Is just a mm -hmm. like that would be somebody that would just call and say like, you good? Hi. Just yeah. checking on you because outside of that. I don't speak to anybody. Yeah. And people don't generally call me, and I don't generally call people. Do better I, feel like, I feel like y'all understand each other too, because, like, y'all live alone. So, like, you understand that, like, yeah. level of, I guess, sometimes it's loneliness. So, like, it's easier for both of you to kind of think to call each other first. Yeah. You know, because you know she in no way. She know you in no way. If yeah. we're not together, we don't 
we don't put anybody else. But let me just say <laughs> on this so note, like we're actually not on, this anyway. note, <laughs> on this note, uh, I would like to say, check on your friends that live alone. Like I think sometimes. Check on me. Okay, okay so I have I have her. Like I'm telling but them. But I check, check on, on you. you. Yeah, but yeah. the point is, I remember to check on you because I know what it's like. And so, if you do have friends that live alone, check on them. Because most of the times we're okay, but many times we really not okay. Eh? Like mm-hmm. I would call Jizz and sometimes she would I would just get a sick sense that something's going on. And like if you honestly we take for granted like we have our families and we have whatever and we have a lot going on and we really take for granted that sometimes we have people in our lives that don't have those extensions and so when they reach out you you're either too busy or you're too caught up or you're like doing your own thing you don't respond or you don't have time and like you really take for granted that sometimes when people say when people reach out we take it for granted and then sometimes tragic things happen and then you ask Oh, why they didn't tell somebody that they were going through something or da 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 da. But but it is true that I have said in subtle ways I'm not okay and noticed that there are people in my life that have not picked up. And I'm not gonna come out in a dramatic way and say, yo, but I'm gonna say I'm not cool. And if you as my friend don't realize something's going on, then I'm I'm gonna deal with it because you also don't wanna be a burden. Right, mm, so yeah. you're gonna try and deal with things on your own, but really check on your friends that don't have so what is it those you, resources. What is it that you do to like kind of like bring yourself to? I mean, I told you I had grounding. started going to the gym and stuff, mm-hmm. and really those are the things I had started working out <laughs> more regularly, and I had started therapy. I stopped therapy and I moved to the gym, just trying different things, but really just again outlets on your own. Mm-hmm. Because you really feel like you don't have that support, and you can't always, as much as we love our friends, you can't always depend on your friends. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. Yeah. so. So that's how you. Take you really care just yourself. have to learn to yeah. do it on your own, like in big ways and small ways. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we can't rely on people yeah. to like Cause get people, into everybody, like everybody has like their own thing said, going yeah, on. Everybody yeah. has their own thing. Yeah, I talk to myself rough. in a vigorous way. Like people say they talk to themselves and you know, people will be like, just make sure you don't answer and it's a joke. But really and truly, I have a big sit down with myself because I've done a lot of self work because I've been, I've, I've gone through a lot of things in life generally, just like anybody else. But being myself and I like to just have a handle on situations, I would legit talk to myself and I would talk to myself for hours. I would talk to myself in the shower. I would talk to myself in the mirror. I would sit down and be watching TV and have like an internal conversation with myself, go through exactly what is upsetting me and just kind of, I literally talk myself through it because if I don't hear it outside, like if I don't speak the words, then I, it's easy for me to just be like in the Lulu for the rest of my life no about saloon. it right with no saloon, saloon. <laughs> in the lulu with no saloon it's all an ilulu but i am um, i literally talk to myself oh and that's why sometimes it's difficult to get me outside if i'm in a particular place and i don't want to be there but i do have to go through that piece of speaking to myself about something if it's about work and why you're so upset with how things going and work and blah, blah, blah. I literally have to sit down and talk myself through the whole process and whatever. If it's about man, like it is usually, it, it is usually for me, I'm not even going to lie. I have to sit down and talk to my, talk myself through it. Da, 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 just so that I would understand where I, I am at. And so that I, I'm not like a burden onto anybody else. Not that they would not listen, but it's difficult for people who have, their own nine to five, their own things going on to then accept your stuff on top of that. That's my that's my feeling. Yeah. So I take to I take to yeah. speaking to myself about it, figuring myself out and then letting my friends know because I did that the other day. This yeah. is where I am. Hello. Yeah. This is where I am. So if I'm like this is not because of y'all love y'all to pieces forever and ever. I just like to talk to myself. This is the space that I am in. This is the time that I do it. So that might happen just because it's a habit, but I'll be okay. There's nothing wrong with it, mm-hmm. so I really do have to. Speak I don't to even myself. go as far as letting people know. I just, I just detach. And if you notice, 
then use a friend. And if you don't notice, then use that kind of friend. Oops. No, I think even with that, though, sometimes somebody's, like, that same friend, like, that. I'm not sure if I agree with that, though, if, like, someone didn't notice that you're being detached because they could also be going through their own stuff. Yeah, true. Like, and I know, for, as I said, for the stuff oops. that I went through this last year, I was definitely detached, which means that if I'm detached, it also means that I'm not in tune with my friends. Mm. So I'm not in tune with, like, what are they going yeah. through because mm-hmm. you're going through their own stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I would be more open solutions. with. I'm um, be more open with it with y'all because y'all are like the close, close friends. Everybody else, you know, yeah. you know, do what you're doing, boo. If you're noticing it, and there are people that will notice. You just pick up on your energies and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Triggering words, however, you know, they pick up on you and um, we still trigger by them words. <laughs> <laughs> you have to forever, <laughs> forever, for, for ever. Oh, Ivan, oh Ivan. my Oof. god. Yeah, but there are people who would, you know, you usually this kind of way and then you're seeing more of a somber way or they might see you more outward and, mm-hmm. be, and be like, yeah, all right, what's moving on? You know, you're to yourself, but you're drinking and you know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. So it's, it's good to know that there are people who are watching you and stuff like yeah. that. But I would also make it known to like these girls, hey, this is what's going on. If you can't tell because blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's important. I had someone I who like I wasn't notes. close to necessarily. Like we, we've known each other a while. We're cool. We say hi. But like he picked up on like I was going through a wild time. And he picked up on that. We were in a fit. And big of you because I know who you are. Big of you, honestly. And he like tapped me and he was because he was in the back of me. He's like, you good? Because like, mm-hmm. he's like, you're not you're not yourself right now and i'm like i don't even know he's been noticing me in fact because i honestly be in the back of the fest behind people and i short mm-hmm. i'm not shorter mm-hmm. but i'm shorter than the people i've been lying mm-hmm. with so i was behind mm-hmm. them right and i'm like how does my pick up on that and literally almost every day or like every morning every other day he'd message me and be like i hope you're good today whatever it is that you're going through yeah like you know if you need to talk i'm here i was like that's so like i was sorting feelings though because like in this spectrum of person, like, I'm not that close to, they're picking up on things, and some of, like, my oldest, like, best friends yeah. can't pick up on shit, I had to rough one up, I was like, bro, <laughs> get it together. I mean, I cried at me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, she's a Question related to the statement that you made. I'm usually, like, in the back of the foot. More foot. More foot is being a back of. I was being a back of foot. Oh, in... No one has been in the back of it. I mean, and then in like in like bigger events, I'm like close to the front or to the side. But I don't be in the front of in that fit. Which fit? That particular fit. I was in the back. Like, no, babes, you was in the front side. No, babes, I was in the front. I've never seen you in the back, but also if you say so, I was. I was so, take well, it. I was actually in the like that is the back. I was on the beach side. Them the front is closest the to anyway. the DJ. And if you see me, that's because I'm taking content. I take it. I, I believe front is the front of the end, closest to the entrance. Entrance? Eh? No. No, entrance could be back. Yeah. The entrance is always I in the back. I to be closer to the DJ. All it can do, Max Boy. The entrance is always to the, the back. And then I mean, if the you are young and you're trying to get the, the attention of k if you're trying to get the... <laughs> I really try... I was, I was really going to call the DJ name. The young one now, that's cool. That everybody loving these days. Cappy? I didn't, yeah. Please, eh? cut it all out. Yeah, yeah, But if you're trying to be very close to him, then I could understand. But the fact there, yeah, as you're coming, that is the front. The DJ is more to the DJ side. Because I know you know front. better than that, I'll allow you to say nonsense for two seconds. No. <laughs> no. Have, because where do you enter a fit? We are custom entering backstage for some fits. Yes, cool. That's not the front of the fit. What's the other side of the fit where people are? To me, general? usually in Grenadian places, if I said the front, if I'm to the, the front, entrance is by the, to the, the, the entrance will be to the front, eh? A lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Like think about when we enter the Thursday place. Be, when we are we the, crazy? When we <laughs> enter, okay, when you enter the Thursday place, you come up the step, you pass right in front of the DJ. Like yes. I feel like most spots are similar. Okay, right. I. But, but you specifically talking about stadium fits, right? Yeah, I'm okay. just speaking about parties in general. I'm I'm speaking so, about that party. But even like when we went to SOS, that that entrance was off to the side. It's off to the side, so it was more towards the back. 
Because but that was, well, but that is a, but that is a, that is a, so you that is a different than usual the setup for no, them. No, I entered the Usually the setup is you enter oh. and you're busting out right in front of the DJ. The normal setup for that fet is you enter and you pass right in front of the DJ. The normal setup. You enter, you cross the bar. And you cross the DJ, and then this you get to the next on bar. On and the anyway, I was in the back of the fit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me <laughs> let me get back, back on track. <laughs> we just spent the whole ten minutes talking about the entrance of fits. Entrance of fits. I don't even. Anyway, camera. <laughs> I don't understand why we went on so long for that. However, anyway, you know, big up him and his who? intuition. Pick up who? The friend that the friend that you. asked. Oh, I was like, who is it? And I'm out. Do you we see how you she was she forget her own story? Brought she forgot her own I brought it back. Really and then she was giving a really story. You not giving her story. story. No, but now we go back to him because I thought we were big up somebody else. No, no. because no. there was somebody big up after him. Got I it. didn't big up. I was just trying to. I think we had too many shots. She had. I think we had too many shots. Big up him and his intuition. If she had let me finish my statement before she come outside with everything, but yes. Big up him and his intuition and for asking about Yeah, no, it was really sweet and yeah, like it was really nice. She really did appreciate it. She told me about it yeah. almost immediately. I think I saw when he asked actually. Because I was Because I was well. going so I, I wasn't in the back row. But anyway, moving forward. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> do y'all do any I know that we already spoke about uh, what our ideal dates and everything would be, but like have y'all ever done dates with friends, date with dates with family? Like what's that like for you all? I mean, I feel like, yeah, I honestly think that, at least in my life, that's needed. I mean, our, my living situation is that, like, we live in a joint household. So it's mm-hmm. me, my husband, and my my mom and my dad. Yeah. I think people have this notion of, like, oh, if you don't have kids, you have a lot of time on your hands. Same, yeah. Even if, when you're married, they think, uh, like, well, work? you don't have yeah. kids. And, like, I mean, big up all my friends that have kids, eh? but, like, saying comments like that yeah. to your friends that don't have kids or to your friends that are single, saying, like, well, you don't have to mind a man or you don't have to mind children, like, means you have a lot more time. And it's like, well, that's not always the case because, like, you know, for us, we live at home. We, you know, help out with my parents. I know Jan's with you, too. You help out things with your mom. Like, you know, those kind of things. It's like, I think people forget that even that is a lot of, you know, work. But work in a good way. Now, I'm not saying, like, yeah. anything's a burden or anything like that. And so sometimes I feel like, especially for me, like, I do need dates actually with myself. I do need dates with, like, my dad and my mom. And I do need dates, obviously, with my husband. But we've talked about that before. But, like... For me, my mom, I'll just say, like, oh, that's, like, even, like, going for a pedicure together is a mm-hmm. thing, right? Because as much as we love my dad and my husband, we know that we need a break. You need a break from the mom, right? right? <laughs> Absolutely. And same thing <laughs> with my dad. Like, especially with my dad aging, you start seeing, like, a different side of your parent. If you're close to your parent, you're just like, oh, gosh, like, I want to start doing more things with them. Yeah. So, like, my dad will go golfing or we'll just go and get lunch and all those kind of things. And, like, making sure that I have, like, those separate times with each of them so yeah. that like we have a different connection because i think sometimes when we all go out to dinner as a family i think a lot of things get lost in the noise yeah. so we all do that like my siblings try to do the same thing with my parents too but i also like my own time so it's like yeah i have no problem going to dinner on my own i have no problem going to Good see a movie you. on my own yeah. i think when i was younger i used to be like oh that's lame why go and move by myself but like i love scary movies and I love, I also love, like, the really cheesy movies sometimes, yeah, which, yeah. like, I mean, big up Daryl, he'll, he'll still watch any movie with me, but sometimes just like, ah, I'm gonna go by myself. That's her first, but Yeah. That's her first. I'm gonna go by myself. Or, like, yeah. even for food, like, I know, like, I like a particular type of food. Like, I love Greek food. Mm-hmm. Daryl doesn't. And sometimes I'm like, it doesn't make sense to force him to be like, there we go. He'll, he'll still, he'll join. He's yeah. Okay. But He's a trooper. Sometimes it's like, you know what, like. I'm going to go and do my own thing. Like, especially for, like, as Yans was saying, when we work from home, we're doing a lot of talking in meetings, and sometimes we miss a human interaction. But for me, it's actually the opposite, where I'm just like, I don't want to talk, because I actually yeah. do talk a lot of meetings. I'm presenting things and so forth. And so sometimes I'll actually just say I'm going for a drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes that drive leads me to, I mean, y'all know me and my hookahs. I love my hookahs. Even here in Grenada, y'all have I've like I've messaged y'all and said like, like yo, I've left the house from like Egmont. Go I'm gonna be in Grenada. Check me if you want to check me. Mm-hmm. You know, but I love those times, and sometimes it's literally <coughs> me not thinking about anything. 
Yeah. Right? The drives where you don't think and you're just like, in, Yo, those just like, like in automatic mode. Yeah. I don't know. I feel calm. Not even that though. Have you ever put on like music and you're just yes. like ball into the music? Ooh. And sometimes it's I don't want to tell the people that I be I be crying. I will just be like in my feels or whatever. Yeah, like, you know, I just true. need to ball because like as we said, like our friends will know when something's wrong. Yeah. Just yeah. like our parents will know when something's wrong. Your partner will know when something's wrong. And sometimes you just don't want to reveal that. You're just gonna be like. Nothing's yeah. really wrong, wrong, but I just yeah. need a Feeling little. Yeah, yeah. I just like need a, I've a, called a you sigh. before and said I don't know what's happening, but I need to cry. Yeah, or I would just yeah. randomly be like, I need to cry. Like Sometimes you just it's feel like periods. there's like <laughs> just something. Feel maybe it's just like a lot of emotions that you can't express. You exactly. can't. Exactly. You can't vocalize. Sometimes it really is your period. Like I'm absolutely. even joking. Oh my absolutely. god, it's so crazy. So many times like, where it make I have been sad, like emotional, it makes me angry emotional. So if I'm particularly upset or bitchy, it's just because yeah. Boom. And I know cuz I'm also hungry. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not as hungry, but yeah. there are times when I would just be like in a very emotional space like outwardly outwardly mm-hmm. emotional yeah. for whatever reason and I am killing myself like what is wrong with me etc etc and then my period comes like maybe a few days earlier than i was supposed to yeah. and then rohan is like yeah bitch that's Dang. why that happened i'm like yeah okay cool yeah but you know, at least we recognize it because yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes i'll be so i'll be so emotional like After everything's years, a problem yeah. Yeah. Take it no but surprise. you know what it gets worse with age it gets worse I'm it got also, worse when i turn like 28 I, or something yeah, it just, listen like, mine gives me the I'm just on the dog. all the time <laughs> Before time, I knew Mine's when I was teaching my class and I was upset with them for absolutely no reason. Next week, my period was coming. I knew that I was able to preempt it and be like, yo, listen, my period coming next week. Don't even come to me with any nonsense or any bullshit. That's my co-workers and stuff. But then at some point in my, I'm not even going to just admit how old I am, but in the later years, it's been pull up with tears and sadness and un- like like unexplainable it's like doom. emotion it's literally and doom I've been like dude what the hell and in these later years time, again i'm not gonna be how old i am the later years in these later this years like listen, I'm, I'm 39 we so <laughs> like, i get it i get it oh like God. in these years we're, we're i don't even the spectrum i don't even need a period like nah, yeah I she can go <laughs> like last week i reached out to james i was like bitch it was last week or the week before? It was last week. Tell me what you said, bitch. I'm not me. okay. That was all. That was last week. Yeah, I'm not okay. That was it. I remember like two days straight, I was just bawling. Like it was just life. No. It was just like you reach a point where you're like accounting. Something mm-hmm. like you're accounting. You're like. And I admit, I've done a lot in my life. I feel like I've lived so much i've traveled all over the world i've done wild shit i've accomplished but then still like you get to a point where you feel like i get a lot yeah it's like i have not achieved my main goals like Mm. i've achieved many things but i have not achieved my main goals my priority goals something like I don't know. At a certain point, you just... And then I went to a funeral last week. And I hate funerals because I have this death phobia. And so, like, it was just a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Dark. It's a different week. No, it's a different week. It's a different week. It's a different week. We get through it. I feel like this this is part of, like, your... You're processing. Yeah. yeah. I you mean, know, we're out with each other. Like, we hang out. We do. Yeah. And that's part of friend dating. Like, I have a standing friend date, even though it's been a little bit wonky recently. Um, yeah. I have I a, a standing um, Saturday is. friend date for, like, KFC with Loris. Big up you, Loris. Mm. Yes. And it's been wonky because it's my fault, but he does told feelers. I want to play to the more feelings than me. But, you know, we good. We good. That's crazy. We good. And, like, you don't even need to say much. We go, I mean, it's be like an hour because the drive through in Grenada. It's 45 minutes. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Right? But, you know, it's be good. We be singing songs in the car. We go, we talk about nonsense. Sometimes we don't have to talk about anything at all. And it's literally him picking me up, going to KFC, 
and then picking up the KFC after an hour and then going back like nothing special nobody in you know no dress up thing just be in like house he i be in house clothes he coming from work because he working on saturday but yeah that's something that i look forward to a lot of the time because i'm like oh it's saturday going for kfc with loris you know and but do you look forward to hanging out with me eh Alright, let me tell her something. Yeah? Let me tell her something. You see, oh, whatever she says at this you point, see? she acts for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, you see, Rohan. Rohan does want to be big and bad and be like shut up, da, 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 da. but then in my crawl all the fucking time. You don't love me. Da, 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 da. I enjoy spending time with Rohan. <laughs> right? Sorry, that was see, and then she fucking no. coughed over it. She I fucking coughed over it. That's why I didn't say nothing. That's why I didn't say nothing. I'm still I'm suffering done. from carnival. Suffering from carnival backside. <laughs> yes, you guys are doing that. Yes, I do spending time with Rohan. Yes, I do spending time with Rohan. Yes, yes, I do spending time with Rohan. Just as much as I enjoy spending time with any of my other friends. These two especially. I was asking about me. <laughs> Dead. Anywho, <laughs> I mean, like, if we think about, like, just generally even dates with friends, like, coming back to that self-care topic, too, it's, like, I, hate that. I think what's been helpful for me is, like, actually having something scheduled. So, y'all know me. I'm very big on pedicures. Yes. And I'm very big on massages. So, back okay, home, <laughs> back home, it's about an every two-week schedule. And so, mm-hmm. like, I continue that when I came here for massages as well. And... True Blue specifically has a great full body massage. Highly recommended. They actually have discounts for like couple discounts. I even believe like the SGU students get a good discount as well. Yeah. Locals, um, I think. Yeah, yeah locals. As absolutely as well. locals as well. Definitely check it out. I haven't done the... Y'all have done the scrub. I haven't done that yet. I've you always just do done the, the full body the full massage. Body scrub is the really yeah. soak. Where's that? I've also heard that. Hey, I, right, think, I think I lost like toxins in my body like that water was hot yeah. it was so good and like they kept the room really steamy and i was like hot air hot air whoo let's go and i just submerged myself my mom has done i never want to leave my mom has done the really wrap. clean and yeah. she said the wrap you know, is really good the the body, the body wrap. wrap she said it's oh really i've had, well. had the body wrap it was, it was nice and mm-hmm. cozy and you took a good little sleep with that and the yeah. ac is running so like you're your pieces of like body that's outside again a chill and then like the rest of your body's just hot and it's just delicious like when you have one foot under the blanket oh, and yeah. one foot I out get... and yeah, then the ac like... is like 17 degrees and on turbo delicious wow <laughs> I've, I've done the pedicure here i think <laughs> rohan and i did a pedicure here at the same we time did. it was really nice like they have good conversation they make you feel comfortable they're really sweet like the they're girls up there so are really sweet. really sweet and I it's like not them. it's not like that everywhere you go especially it was my first time they were talking to her because she always say but like <laughs> it was my first time and you know conversation conversation it was really really nice yeah if it wasn't like out of my way out of my way i would i would come back but it's kind of like out of my way because it's, it's like home for you yeah i live five minutes away <laughs> Don't tell the people where you're living. Five minutes could literally be anywhere. Am I going drop a pin? Oh my god. It is. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like it really could be. <laughs> my god, my god. But yeah, and uh, so yeah. A little intervening with the straight no chaser is. We are talking about self-care and all this different stuff that we do for ourselves and with our friends outside of romantic things. And we are being sponsored, title sponsored today for the first time by Triple Bay Resort. Remember, Woo-hoo! we're bringing them up. We're on a day pass here. We're having a wonderful time. Um, you should definitely come down to the day pass. You know, have the day pass. Two ninety nine EC. You get to do a whole bunch of different things. You can check their website, TripleBay.com, for more information about that. But it's really enjoyable. We have done this together. How many times, though? Many. <laughs> And we started doing that during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Together, together, I think we have definitely lost yeah. count about the number the of four times. of us have come. Sabrina would, would be Sabrina with us. Sabrina was here. Like, I've done for with my parents. Far, with Kemi, like she's done with your parents. Yeah. I've done for birthdays. Yeah. Yeah, even yeah. my sister, when she came up, big up you, Chrissy, because I know you want your name called. I love you. Big up you. Big up my sister and her Cute. boyfriend. Hey, big, 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 big
Um, carry. <laughs> They did a day pass and they love it as well. So, you know, guys, come down. However, we are going to tell you about their Extend Your Summer promotion that they are having. And that is so that you can book by October the 31st. You stay for five days, you pay for four, you stay for seven days, and you pay for six. Right? And it says, Extend Your Summer at True Blue Bay Boutique Resort with our irresistible offer. Stay for five, pay for four, stay for seven, pay for six. Valid. Pause. Mm. Yeah. I think it's people not not days is it oh is that people it doesn't I'm not sure. say i believe it's days why would you do for people why would the you rooms are double occupancy, the rooms are double occupancy. yeah okay. so it wouldn't be people it's it would days. be days okay yeah, yeah. i was making sure because i was like let's see okay so do you All want right. me to start so again? no no in okay. case y'all had that question <laughs> we just answered it it's days <laughs> I guess we did not pause, mm. but this is valid <laughs> until December the 14th, and well, that's 2023, of course. You book by October the 31st, and enjoy a complimentary bottle of wine in your room. You contact reservations at com to secure your getaway, and when I tell you I would do it, you should do it too, because the rooms are amazing. I think you can look on our social media. That is at straightnochaser.podcast on the Instagram, and you can see what the room looked like. See what we did for the day, cause it was a. Uh, we didn't do much, cause we old. We did a lot, eh? Yeah. We, didn't we do did much. a lot. We, we took a nap no. <laughs> in their fat We did some room. work. We drank. We did we took some work. We, we took a meeting. We took shots. We what took a more meeting. would you like to we do, We swam Giselle? in the pool. Full the everything. Full spectrum. Right. Again, we did well, not we visit took a nap. the. We did not utilize all the facilities that they have available to us. Oh, we didn't go I on the mean. trampoline. We didn't go I on say the trampoline. Yeah, I mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The trampoline. The trampoline empanada. is so much fun. We didn't do the water sports. We didn't do water they sports. They do have water sports and that's so much fun. The gym and the yoga studio you know, are available to us. We did, not, we did not do that. <laughs> we should have done the water sports. At least paddleboarding. That's a vibe. For me to drown? Why would you drown? You're on a, you're on a board. Where are you drunken for? I think you had stabilize I told you all my bumsy eh? Yeah, so just balance My bumsy your... is wrong. It will tip me over. Balance yeah, your cat on the board. I mean, I won't drown. I, I can swim. And just stay there. Wave. I can... We had a... We had a... Sit down. Because you know me, I would fall. Water. Yeah, like we had a sit down and other things. Just sit down. And float. I don't sit anywhere but the chair. I feel like all the listeners and all the watchers have... N- know that she... Fell off <coughs> her own chair, so Literally in an episode, be like be concerned for me, guys. <laughs> yeah. she she don't be be concerned. Yeah. Ah, why ah, you would say that? Right. I never. It wasn't me. That's you my see, point. That's, she why, me and, that's, that's my why. point. That is why she would say that. Me never shoulder rock of lies. <laughs> no, no, no. But, <laughs> but this, but this time is never. Eh? Oh, all I remember okay. the conversation. I have it all here. Please. Mm. My niece would. Anyway. Anyways, getting back to self-care relationships. With that is others. also self-care. It, Not yeah. my self-care. Anyway, B, I have a question for you. <laughs> yes, Rohan, what is your question? Okay, I know you, um, I know you, like, you have a big group of, like, family and friends mm-hmm. in Cali. Mm-hmm. Like, I know you take your time for yourself, but, like, do you, I know you and Daryl have similar friends now, y'all are, like, have the same friends. Do you, like, hang out with them without him? Like, or, like, without the husbands? Yeah, no, we do. I think we have a pretty... (laughs) Oh, my God. I'll go wait, eh? Right? (laughs) Anyways, we we do have a pretty close-knit of a group. Whole snake group of friends. Yeah, there you go. The words Thank just, you. They were dotted. Um, yeah. Back home. But yes, at least for us girls, we do like to do a little. I mean, I feel like every weekend, you know, we're, we all get together at somebody's yeah. house and hang out and chill. But we also, like us girls, have actual separate group chat. And so mm. we try, like, then maybe like <clears> every couple of weeks or at least once a month that we're going to go out and do something without the husbands. And that sometimes does mean then maybe we'll meet up at one of the girls' houses or we'll go okay. out to dinner and drinks. We don't go clubbing anymore. Um, but even things it. like um, planning, like we like we love doing f- group friend trips. So like we always typically have one with a full group, but yeah. we've now started, we, we now restarted doing like just girls trips. So like, yeah, I definitely like peeped y'all. Yeah, so we went to like too. Austin like a month and like a month before we came to Alabama. Grenada. And it's like, it was just Texas. so nice to be, I mean, I, I mean, we're not a group that's like, oh, we bitch about our husbands. Nothing like that. But I think it's just 
so nice to be able to sometimes talk about things that we may not be able to talk about, you yeah, know, for, in front of somebody that. else's husband. Right. right? No matter yeah. how close we are with them, too. So I recommend it for everybody. I think girls should do, definitely do their trips. I also recommend guys to do their guys' trips. <coughs> I if definitely they can. Do you know, do like, guys, just do it. Because I feel like sometimes I specifically think that guys take it for granted that time. Yeah. Like, you know, they think, like, oh, you know, he have a girl or he married and they start, like, locking off. Or not locking off. You yeah. know what it is. Like, it they starts, talk every now and It then. starts becoming the singles versus the guys. Like, yeah. No, but, like, That's what we're going with Rohan. When Rohan get a man, she'll be living inside his clothes. She ain't coming outside and lying no I more. I do the same to it, man. No, girls yeah. do the same thing. They girls would. do the same thing. No, no, no. no I no, mean, no. me. I so I recommend it. I recommend it. If you, if people can do group trips with their friends, yeah. even if it means a staycation. So like, yeah. Even what I was just said that True Blue special that's coming up. Like, staycations are my thing. Love a staycation. Like I don't necessarily need to leave the state or anything. Like I'm and like, let me just go get a hotel. <coughs> yeah. Let's get pampered up with yeah. you know yeah. massages, facials, whatever. So what would be and like your favorite like, I like girl thing? That, I could see us doing that if you were here longer. Just like staycation. Yeah. Do as a. Yeah. Girl staycation. Yeah, Go get some massages. Six, week. <coughs> yeah, six yeah, weeks on six weeks on what? I know. Anyway, six weeks. Six yeah, weeks yeah, like comes and goes. Like I know. She was I know. Like, I know. Okay. But see, the days. other part of self care is like traveling the rest of the world. So yeah. like, while I mean, I think majority of people know that coming to Grenada is a very big self care <laughs> thing for me. Yes, this is the shortest time I've been here. It's been only. I'll say it. I'll admit it. Only six weeks. But it's only because I'm going. Yeah, she go in place with she man and yeah. that's self care. Tell her all that. Good for you, eh? She's in her I have my man, my man, my man, my man, era, and we love it for her. Listen, be in your my man, my man, my man, era. Go for six weeks, go for ten weeks, go for two months. Come back here, and that's my problem. <laughs> it's the after, you know. No, we're not going She's not just one to demand all she friends with them to be in she crawl. Yep. <laughs> that's really who it is. That's what I want. Because poor Sabrina does get all the time. No, no. not Sabrina from wrong. me alone. Eh? Sabrina not wrong. from me alone. Sabrina, Sabrina if you're listening, if you so listening you're wrong. Yeah, boy. Hmm. Sabrina, I just sorry. Be I just, I just try to support you. Yeah, Listen, I'm to support my friend on thing, eh? but she the wrong this time. She especially. wrong. She yeah. wrong. She wrong. She wrong. She wrong. She wrong. That's not a song. What do I? What do I? She wrong. She wrong, she wrong, she wrong, she wrong, she wrong. Big up Grenada Carnival oh, and big up so sick of us. Zooty Man. He is this so is sick. Song. I wish we had like a camera that like faced that him when we like talk. Like, you know what? Next setup, we have to have him there. We Honestly. Have him there so but that, uh, but that like, Darryl, you can talk, you know. He don't want to. Mm. No, he man sitting with his the man is like he's shades. like vigorously shaking his head. <laughs> he's like, I will be the one that had to edit all this, right? And he might fall, fall, fall off script. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going off script. I'm so sorry. Always. If you just you know do that, we will definitely get back in line. Okay, but I was asking, what is like your like favorite thing, like your self care thing to do, either by yourself or with your girls or your your boys or whoever. Uh, I guess if I mean if I'm by myself, it's definitely probably going out to get something to eat. I'm a big fan of ice cream. Oh, do you know what I Yeah, doing it any time. And, and the craziest part is that, like, by me, there's a, I love Baskin <coughs> Robbins, <coughs> and there's a drive through Baskin Robbins. So, oh. not only am I going on a drive, I want to You don't have to get out! I don't want to get out, right? Mm, that's so and it's, it's such a weird thing, and I'm sure, like, everybody probably is wondering, like, where I went. I'll just go drive to the Baskin Robbins, get my little banana, um, oh gosh, what is it called? Banana Supreme, but it's just like two scoops of ice cream with chopped up banana. If Y'all don't hate on banana and ice cream, man. I love banana and ice cream. I love banana. It's, it's cookies and cream so ice cream fine. with slices of banana with a little bit of caramel on That's top. That's wild. And then I'll just go and park in the parking lot. I'll listen. Sometimes I'm listening to a podcast. Sometimes I'm listening to our edits. Some, You know, sometimes I'm listening to a, an audible book that I'm like with also as well listening to. And I'm just sitting there eating my ice cream. Mm, you know, cute. anytime. I love that. That's my thing. I mean, I, I already mentioned massages, but like I would say probably like. If I go on a drive, like, like once a week, I'll have I'll go and get my little ice cream treat and do things. That's yeah. Cute. Other than that, like with friends, it's normally like just getting each getting to each other's houses. We love cooking together. We love 
yeah. drinking together. Um, I haven't been on like the drinking to get drunk vibe for a very long time. So mm-hmm, it's just been yeah. mostly wines. It's been setting up our hookahs, going into the pool. Just very much like a chill place versus like trying to plan like a hectic vacation. Yeah. It's kind of, it hasn't been on like that level for a while. Okay. So. Mm, that's yeah. good. Me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, on a solo day, <coughs> I love going on, like I call it a maintenance day where I'm just like doing things. Maybe it might be I'm getting my hair done or maybe I have a checkup at the doctor's or like it's just a day when i'm just checking on your well checking on my well-being i'm maybe i'm getting my nails done i'm getting a pedicure something maybe i'm getting a massage it's just something just like a me day i love that and usually it's a day when i have more than one appointment scheduled so it really just feels like i'm just ticking boxes on on me it's like, mm. I got this done, I got this done. Like, that feels really good. That's and then with friends, I really enjoy either day drinking or smoking <clears throat> or <laughs> watching movies. I usually mm. fall asleep, but I enjoy just, like, sitting in silence and not talking, but Come being on, in somebody's company. Like, I love that with yeah. a friend or a lover, whatever. Like, I just like love. being... <laughs> ew. <laughs> I know. We were doing that I, the other day. Yeah, no I like else. I like like not talking but being in people's company. Like I don't always real. enjoy having conversation, but if like when I came by you the other day, I literally just I took my just book, I went outside, box. I wasn't I was reading, but I was also just on my phone or I was just laying there and just like looking at the sky or looking around, like just that sitting in silence. I enjoy that alone or with yeah. or with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Lover Lover, you want yeah, to tell Shaggy, us what please. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, yeah, for me, on a solo vibe, it is being in my house. I really like my house. You know, me and my house are all cool. If I stay away from my house too long, I really go home and say, Hi, house, how are you? Are you good? Blah, 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 check on all the things. I'll be at home having Jesus' lettuce. Or, <laughs> That's know, not Jesus' lettuce, sir. That's not Jesus' lettuce. It's the devil's. Please. Excuse not- me, bitch. Uh, who's that? The devil didn't make anything, eh? Sorry. Okay, as far as I know, Bible thump over here. As far as I know, <laughs> it grew from the earth. <clears throat> the earth. It's yeah. Anyway, like I was Continue. saying, <laughs> I'm for my day, I would have some of Jesus's <clears throat> lettuce. Um, have some kind of food that I would have ordered for myself, like something that I really like. A lot of times it's KFC. KFC. If it's not KFC, it's probably like curry or something. Something that I really like from somewhere. I'll sit down and I'll watch movies. You know what? I'm going to tell you some of the movies that I watch. My feel-good movies. And you cannot oh, judge yes. me. Right? So one, Judging. ten things. <laughs> what did you say? Judging. <laughs> um, Ten things I hate about you. Yes. Mm. Right? That's a good one. That's up. <clears throat> How to Delicious. lose a guy in 10 days. That's a good one, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Mega Mind. Anything you to do. Me. That you Mega lost Mind. me. Way lost. I'm just teasing you. Mega <laughs> Mind is hilarious. <laughs> is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Right? Mega Mind. Anything to do with a minion or some kind of stupid character. Yeah. <laughs> Big Hero I 6. I minions. Any Disney classic um, yeah. animated movie. Yeah. yeah. Hercules, yeah. Mulan, Mulan any, um, listen, I still have a crush any, on Simba. Listen, I had a crush on Simba, and because of that, I had a crush on Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Big up you. But yeah, um, those kind of things, that, that's my day. In tonight, that's what I'm doing for myself. I probably won't answer messages. I probably won't answer calls. It'll just be me and all those things for that entire period of time. But with friends, mostly, it's just being in their company. It doesn't matter exactly what we're doing, you know. If I need that kind of friend interaction, we could be at your house. We could be out. If I'm with you, I'm with you. And I'm having a good time, genuinely. It may not look so on my face. Apparently, I have a deadpan face. But let's <coughs> not today. Let's not today for the first time from Ducky. That's crazy. But, yeah, deadpan face. And But I do mm-hmm. enjoy the company of my friends. A lot of time is day drinking. Sometimes it's just, you know. I love day drinking. Let me tell you. Who they might be or just oh. having random conversations. Nobody wants Ooh, to play Uno with me. No. Sabrina was my Uno friend. Oh. She moved away and she never said anything. 
So yeah, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's usually what I do. What do you so do? Sabrina's ears ringing, boy. Yep. Um, I have a couple things. A couple things. So when I'm by myself, I really love, and I love doing this at like my old apartment. I used to get half naked. Ooh, put okay. on some like R and B, like either nineties, or I'd put on um some like eighties pop. Yeah, and like start cooking, but I'll have like a massive bottle of wine. Uh huh. And like pour it, and I would just have like the best time in my life. Mind you, my windows are open. I'm pretty sure the club could see me. It was such a vibe. Everything I would like. But I just I used to be that. like half naked and just like dancing around, cooking something that was like a one pot meal, because you know, my got time for yeah. dishes. I also yeah, had like yeah, yeah, I also yeah, had yeah. three Especially three pots in my in my older pot, like, <laughs> a pan, a fry pan, a, a small pot, and a bigger pot. <laughs> that was it. So one pot meal and like just a good bottle of wine and just having a great time. I also just love driving. Um, sometimes when I'm like going through it if i'm like if i've gone out to do something and i'm on my way back home i'll drive past home drive right down to the airport like mm-hmm. go around the place and come back and be like i'm yeah. good now um with friends so i love when we go to fets together and yes. like the brunches and the Just random parties out. where we're kind of lit but my absolute favorite part of that is if we carpooled and we're now in the car, talk like packed up in the lit, car like sardines, lit, lit as fuck, litty titty, and uh, talking about everything that has just happened. Cause guarantee you, there's chaos. A man that's not supposed to be talking to you is talking to you in a fence. Mm-hmm. Somebody else having a tete a tete with their significant somebody other, disappear or like for a period. somebody disappear. Who's six thirty for the whole night and all the headlights and they they can't Whoa. function. That's me. Yeah. Um, and it's just so chaotic, but it's so fun. It <laughs> it's fun to go back. It's fun. It's like, like so fun. Fun. Part of this Yeah, like yeah. leaving the fair with all your friends and like it's just it's absolutely hilarious. Everybody's yelling because everybody's drunk and deaf mm. in one ear. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just thinking. Absolutely. No, we're all deaf. We're uh, yeah, all yeah, deaf. We're leaving these parties. Beat us, be shouting. Yes. Well, you know, I mean, two drinks and she's already shouting. shouting. In general. <laughs> I'm a very loud talker in general, and I yes, I she will said say that. I be I will be shouting. <laughs> I do shout always everywhere. But you maybe even after one away. drink, maybe even after no drink. Probably, but yeah. we're all we're all been shouting yeah, for the entire yeah, time yeah, in the party be because shout. it's loud yeah. and you're drinking. So like you're already shouting. So when you we go to your car, for you. you don't even know that you're still at like a fifty. <laughs> you need to be. A fool. Everyone says, "Why are you shouting at me? I'm not shouting at you." No, sometimes I'm like Ayana. We're like, "Far, be talking." I'm like, "Huh? I can't hear you. What? The Whisper Queens? Oh my god! The Whisper Queens was like, I cannot. Oh my lord, dude, it was be on Juve morning. Like, be is be is standing up close to the speaker. Obviously. Oh my god. She has her phone in plastic. I didn't know that at the time, right? Uh. So I called B to come (laughs) down. Um, she didn't answer. I messaged. She responded. B calls me back. I was like, Hey, B. Hi. Where are you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> B. Like, what? Well, huh? And then she gets frustrated that she can't hear, right? And but I don't know that. I'm thinking that she's frustrated with me because she can't hear me. She's like, Ah! <laughs> Not the scream. <laughs> Oh my I don't God. think I did it quite like that, but no, that, that's, how, that's how it was. Because when I got down and I saw that it was in proper plastic, I was like, "This bitch could me here." Like a plastic <laughs> bag. And the Ziploc, a Ziploc so bag. So it, she definitely could not hear on top of that's not being crazy. able to hear from the music. I'm like, "Be how did you expect, uh, girl? Whatever." You know what I mean? <laughs> but then I, I also go the mode. I'm like, "Okay, if Giselle's calling me, that means she's here." So like I immediately went into high alert of like okay yeah, where, where can I turn to yeah, because honestly it's be? not that I personally don't think it's that hard to find people in juvie so like and especially then we like found our friends, friends like, like two minutes later two minutes she was later. on the curb yeah. we just really be in the same yeah. sort of places huh but it's really by yeah. like a couple bars or like don't my hearing checked you, well, know, you, just you go. no you don't need to <laughs> I was really entrenched in the jab yeah I was gone she was lost lost in the jub jub. 
in the jab jab juve. I did not get lost in the jab jab. I got lost in the jab jab. I don't know. Every year, like clockwork, I lose myself. I am either I am on a truck, in a cart, something. What? Yeah. Last year I was in a cart. Oh my. And on a truck, I was in front of the truck with the driver. Don't ask me how I reached there. At a certain point, I took I asked the driver if he want me to drive the truck for him. <laughs> he left me in the truck. What? God alone that stopped me from going and drive the truck. I was like, bitch, hold on, hold on, hold on. Moment of clarity. If you bounce somebody here on the road, cause they drunk and you drunk. Yeah. They say to drunk don't make it don't, right. don't make it right. We might try to fight. We can't fight. Yeah. I also fight it. What do they? What? I did uh, not fight this year though. Oh, we give oh, time. Yeah. I just okay, scratched up myself tank. last year. I scratched up myself last year. I did not. Because she was in a wheelchair and it drove. I was in a cart and I did fall out the cart. Oh, crazy. Yeah. But I'm the clumsy one. Yeah. You this are, year, eh? the only bruises I have from eh? carnival are from, from making costumes. I have my beautiful burns. Apparently, it's a rite of passage for costume makers. I mean, oof. Ooh. Every year. You bring it out? Yeah, this one is from last year. Oh, even and this one, this one, this year. <laughs> Oh Y'all, the, these things aren't even fair yet. <laughs> I'm weak. My glue gun burns. <coughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's, that's basically yeah, boy, I, 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 I don't call if the camera's on me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I thought she said bye. I was like, no, she said hi. I said, no, say hi. Bye. You see, you're just jumping out to get what you No, I just, hear, I just can't hear. No, Perhaps I've been by the speaker box too often. Yeah. <laughs> from the lines and stuff but this is how we take care of ourselves and this is how we take care of each other and we implore you check on your friends especially those who live alone check on your strong friends because they seem to be overlooked sometimes mm-hmm. they're supporting other people and you don't really think to say hey you're good they ask you you're and good? the ones who yeah. say yeah good man yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. them does lie oh god also also me yeah. Sometimes oh, you know, sometimes you just don't wanna, yeah, you just yeah, don't wanna yeah. share. You like you were saying, like yeah. you just don't feel like sharing. Like I just get mad people asking me if I okay. I'm like yes. <laughs> yes <laughs> but you is not the one I wanna tell. <laughs> yeah. I, I need like to call sometimes, you down. <laughs> sometimes it's more than we just don't wanna share. I feel like sometimes we are. We feel embarrassed at the things that make us sad. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, and absolutely. we feel that we have no business being sad about the things because that make us why? sad. We feel Every guilty time? about the things that make us sad. Or we yeah. feel, like at least for me, I know sometimes I feel I bad really up, that I feel bad. Yeah. yeah. Or I feel like my problems are small problems compared to the, the world next of person's problem. problems. Yeah. Or the world of problems. Mm-hmm. Or like you don't want to feel like, oh, she again. Or you don't want to feel like you're complaining or like you're ungrateful. Or you just yeah. you just don't want anybody to feel responsible for the fact that you're okay. sad. Or yeah. even sometimes you just, sometimes also, you just like feel like I'm feeling sad. And like I always check on people. So like. Why is anybody checking on me? Yeah. Sometimes that's it too. Like you also don't even want to reach out and tell somebody. Yeah. Cause because why am I checking on me? Why right am now? I telling yeah. you to check on yeah. me? Like how you don't even know to check on your friend? It's how you just get mad and then spiral more. Eh? Yeah. It's kind of a, so, then, then, so then, then you just like stay in your corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. You'd be like, you know what? Fuck these hoes. Fuck these bitches. They're my <laughs> friends anyway. The hoes in the and then, you know, you're good to go. But, you know, just check on each other every yeah. once in a while. Know yeah. your cues and stuff. Do the little ice cream dates. Like, li- it literally doesn't have to be anything much. It could be like, you go for a drink. Movies you go for a drive. Silence. A movie. Like, yeah, because I, I love driving or like hanging out in yeah. silence. My yeah. favorite. Yeah, one time Rohan picked me up to drop me before her end point and then picked me up on the way back. That was it. That's the, there was no, there was nothing to it. She just yeah. picked me up and dropped me up. It's just like, you know, spending time with people when you know they're not okay or you're not okay or you're yeah. just feeling to be yeah. in their company, which is really good. And we, we want you to do the same for yourself, whatever works for you own self healing self you know yeah. putting yourself together your self care do that and then you know Just find date community yourself. Yeah. date yourself date, date your yourself friends. there's so many times when each one of us has done something on our own 
I mean, I wouldn't go to the movie by myself because I just want to just like chuck, 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 yeah. chuck money about it. But I wouldn't go to the movie for myself because who is asleep. going to wake me up? Nobody's going to wake me up. When the movie is done <laughs> and the people locking up their place. <laughs> oh. Who is going to wake me up? Nobody it's true. Yeah, yeah, you can't go to the yeah, movie go. at all. No. Yeah. 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 No, I, yeah. Movies for me are like Netflix and chill, wink, wink, or like stay, no, wink, wink. or I'm trying to fall asleep at home. Yeah. Mm. It's not an outing. It's an in-ting. Yeah, yeah, once I sit down for too long, I try to sleep. I go to the cinema. I, like, even when I went to watch Barbie, I went with, like, the whole, like, a whole group of gals. She no, I was, I was fighting. I was fighting. I was fighting to sleep. Because and once this I is why long, I did I'm not exhausted. go. I met them for pre-drinks, and I said, I am not wasting your time and my money. But it was so good. <laughs> Because I knew I would fall asleep. So yeah. I did. I went for drinks and then I went for more drinks. Yeah, you gotta keep up. <laughs> yeah. I was oh, up for the entire movie. People around me were sleeping. I enjoyed that. You know why? Because I am Kenneth. <laughs> I, I am Kenneth. I am Kenneth. Everybody's Kenneth. For the people like me who didn't watch a movie and don't get that reference, we don't Kenneth. Uh, what I mean? <laughs> oh, you don't care? <laughs> Stop it. We didn't stop We didn't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> forget it. <laughs> oh, you're loving me. Yeah. Can we wrap up on that note? <laughs> I really, it took me a long time. That took me a long time. What do you mean? <laughs> I, 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 I felt like she was talking about you know, those airbrushes, the curling tools. I thought she was talking about Nair for your legs. No. I was like, we we shaving off things? Like, what's Listen. going on? Stupid. <laughs> Guys, this has been Straight No Chaser about self care and so on and so forth. Dating yourself, dating each other, seeing about yourself. We are sponsored today by True Blue Bay Resort in True Blue St. George, Grenada, Very West fun, Indies, yeah. not Granada. <laughs> so please make sure and check that out. We are on a day pass. You definitely do want to catch that from them. That's $2.99 EC for a day pass. You get to enjoy a multitude of things. Check them out at True Blue Bay. Bay dot com and also at true blue bay resort on instagram Instagram. check us out at straight no chaser dot podcast go to the link in our bio you'll find all the places that we have our stuff so that you can either listen apple podcast spotify anchor and then you can check us with our beautiful faces on the youtubers that straight comma no chaser podcast so that you can look for us and uh, you can find us there and anywhere you get your podcast. She usually says you're wherever, and I don't know what's wrong with her in the last few days, but you the know. I'm allowed like to switch it up. She can switch gotcha. it up. She can switch it up. New but also season. Her it's her trademark, so she yeah. New yeah. season, new me. I just okay. switched it up okay. a little bit. I'm a brand Hello. new bitch. New season. Yes, New Laura. outro. Okay. Hello. Let them know. Hello. Okay. Thank you guys. Like, <laughs> share, subscribe, do all the things that you're supposed to do, and we will see you on the next oh, one. Bye. 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 <laughs>